Introduction to Process Synchronization First of all, why processes have to be synchronized or what is the need for process synchronization? We know that to improve the CPU and memory utilization, we go for multiprogramming in which even on a single host with a single processor, we keep more than one process in the main memory at the same time. As a result, n number of processes or more than one process can be parallelly executed. Such processes which are executed parallelly can be of two types. They can be either independent of each other or they can be dependent, interdependent on each other. And the processes which are dependent on each other are also called cooperative processes. And process synchronization is required in case of the cooperative processes. That is, if P1 and P2 are two processes such that they are cooperative or interdependent, and if they are executed parallelly or concurrently, then some form of synchronization is required between these two processes, P1 and P2. Now, what's meant by this cooperative or interdependent process? Consider an example. Let P1 be one process such that during the program execution, it is performing a write operation on one variable named count. And let P2 be another process such that it is also performing a write operation on the same shared variable count. Since the variable count is occupying a portion of memory space, we can say that both the processes are trying to access the same shared memory space. Similarly, let P3 be one process such that it is performing a write operation on one file named file1 and P4 be a process such that it is performing a read operation on the same shared file, file1. And here assume that the process P4 should read from the file only after it has been written by the process P3. Then both the processes P3 and P4 are accessing the same shared file. Similarly, let P5 and P6 be two processes such that both of them have to read from the same shared database for their execution. Finally, let P7 and P8 be two processes such that both of them need printer for their execution. And assume that there is only one printer available. Hence, both the processes need access to the same printer for completing their execution. Here, P7 and P8 are interdependent or cooperative. Similarly, P5 and P6 are cooperative. Then P3 and P4 are dependent on each other or cooperative. Finally, P1 and P2 is an example for cooperative processes or interdependent processes. Thus, cooperative processes are the processes which share something, either a shared memory space or a shared file a shared database or a shared resource and the independent processes are the processes which do not share anything here p6 and p7 can be considered as independent processes if they are not sharing anything and such independent processes even if they are executed concurrently they do not create any problem but the cooperative processes, if executed in parallel fashion or concurrent fashion, it may create, not always, but sometimes it may lead to some problems. And to avoid such problems, we need some form of synchronization between these cooperative processes. Thus, the process synchronization is required for the cooperative processes to avoid some problems which may be caused if such cooperative processes are being executed parallelly or concurrently. Next we shall see what kind of problems are likely to occur if the cooperative processes are not synchronized and if executed parallelly.